Hey guys, so it's Ryan, and so we're doing a live commentary on Overwatch this time, playing some Huntsman Sniper, uh, I mean, uh, Hanzo, and uh, we're playing some King of the Hill. So we'll at least try and play at Hanzo throughout this whole first map, and we'll see how it goes. But for those of you who don't really know this game, um, so literally your only weapon is this bow, um, so pretty similar to if you're playing Huntsman Sniper in that regard. And then one of your abilities, uh, when you fire your shot, when it hits a target, it splits up into lots of little shots. And there's a pharaoh hit me from behind, yep. Um, so my E, uh, you fire it when it hits a surface, it splits off into lots of little shots and they bounce uh, a couple times. My shift ability fires an arrow that gives my whole team uh, basically wall hacks in the area where the arrow was fired. And then my ult just fires this huge dragon in a line uh, where I aim it. And I need to sort of change my game plan here, since this doesn't seem to be working. And I also have an ability where I can sort of climb up walls, which is really useful. So I'm going to take a bit of a different approach, maybe just sort of hang back here, try and snipe like into the point from here. So basically I'm going to do my, my wall hack arrow, try and find them if I can, and then and then I'll go for my ulti when they're all in a big group. So I'm just going to ulti on the point, hopefully hit some people, we can cap the point. So I didn't actually hit anyone, which is unusual. that half arrow? Okay. So, this is basically not going very well. And we're getting absolutely destroyed on this first map. So, maybe some things need to change. That was unusual though, because they weren't anywhere near there and my team couldn't cap the point. And then they suddenly came in out of nowhere. But one thing you can do is Hanzo, which is really cool with your E, um, if you fire it just in front of someone's feet, you can one-hit them, um, because it will split up, and then, uh, like, all the little shots that it splits up into will hit people. Like that. So, I just need the damage to kill this guy from my ulti, basically. Um, so, I'd like to say I had a pretty big role in clutching that, uh, cap with my team. Um, this tracer is really annoying, so it feels really good when I'm able to, uh, sort of just one hit headshot her like that. I need heals! Oh, and every character also has a melee attack, which I thought he was a lot lower than uh, he actually was. So, but man, whew, this is this is turning out to be a really, 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 really close round. But they are contesting the point again, so. This tracer is the bane of my existence. I need to run. So, I managed to kill the Reaper. Um, instead of capping the point, they were sort of chasing me. Um, so, that was sort of good, I guess. I distracted the Tracer for quite a bit. 
I think it might be safer to just stay up here because that way the tracer can't, you know, be an annoying tracer. Okay, I'm just gonna ult you. And seems like my whole team is dead. No! Oh! Well, are we gonna get it? Oh man, that, this is like really intense. Huge ulti from the Lucio, keeping us all alive. And then... I'm just gonna ulti there. Hopefully hit some of them. And then I managed to kill one of them. So, we did horrible at the end of that round. Managed to end it with gold and eliminations, objective kills and damage done. Which is pretty awesome, so hopefully we can... Uh, keep this up for the for the second round. So, whew, we definitely managed to to pull ourselves together and really, really pull that round uh, and get it in the bag. So, oh, can I? Hey, we did it! All right, let's see. Can we get this one off? Alright, seems that it's sort of broken now. <laughs> Alright. So this map is is kinda good for Hanzo as well, I guess. Um since some really really good long sight lines. So as you can see there, just sort of This guy's gonna be really annoying, I can just see it. So they didn't have a mercy last round, I believe. So, I might just try and sort of snipe her. And it's the return of the tracers! And then he just runs past me. Instead of dying. Uh, typical tracer. And so, we got a roadhog up here. Okay, not sure why he didn't realise he was getting hurt. Alright. Whew! Some slightly overconfident traces there. Um, so yeah, I can tell that this trace is just basically going to be annoying, like the entire game. And so, oh no, I'm going to lose my fire. That's no good. But the soldier ulti, and I couldn't hide in time. He just sort of ran out before I could. Uh, respond. Which kind of sucks. But hopefully our team can hold the point for the whole time, as opposed to their team last round, who kind of, you know, got to the 99%, and I came in, I clutched it, and then we ended up uh, winning the round, so... Let's see how this turns out. I do have my ulti ready. I'm just going to use it there, I think. Getting plenty of hit markers. So basically, just like in TF2, uh, Mercy is like the medic. And so if you see her, you kind of want to aim for her. Uh, she's pretty big priority since she can revive their whole team, as you would have seen. Uh, down there earlier. So. We're just gonna set up here for now. Hopefully, get lots of kills! Whew. Not die to the Junkrat ulti! And then, we managed to clutch the second round for a flawless victory, I think, uh, that time, 100% to 0%. So, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. 
so thanks heaps for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sort of at the start of this video, I was like, hmm. Is this going to be some good gameplay? Because I was sort of just dying heaps and not really doing a whole lot. But then, you know, once we found our stride and we started just going ham, destroying everyone, everything turned out okay. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.